Well, it is a young team. I think that's the definition of this group this year. And it's always fun, you know, when you get into a new group of guys to, to see where you can go with them. And uh, got good leadership at the top with A.J. McInerney. Uh, I think he's really starting to round out into a really healthy young man. He's had some issues with his back. And, um, and he's worked really hard to be physically fit. Um, it's something that comes up with a lot of players, and his tend to do it uh, more in, earlier in his career. But I think he's learning how to manage it and, and, uh, and play at a high level with it. And we were really excited he won the uh, Nevada State uh, match play over a former Rev, uh, Eddie Fryatt. And um, so I think he's coming in with some confidence. Uh, he's really stepped it up in the gym also. Uh, great workout uh, he's put together for the, for the group. And uh, he's kind of taking control uh, of the team as a, a, lead, a senior leader. And we're going to really need that with this group. Well, I think we, you know, we have a, a lot given to us, uh, these great facilities, uh, the opportunity they have to come in here, play a great schedule, one of the best in the country each year. So our goals are the, uh, the very top. You know, we want to try to win a national championship and compete for a national championship. Uh, that's our goal each and every year. So whether we're experienced or we're young, our, uh, our goal is to be up there at the top and try to win tournaments along the way so that when we get to regionals and we get to the finals that we, we have a chance to, you know, uh, like a couple of years ago, get to the Elite Eight, one shot out of getting to the Final Four. Uh, that's, that's where we want to play and that's where we want to be and that's where we expect to be. Well, I think, you know, that was one of the reasons I came here was the, the promise of being able to have great facilities like this. Uh, the town would have support and I've never been disappointed. You know, they they probably surpassed my imagination of what we could have had here. So I feel we have a platform to play at the highest level every year, and uh, we're thankful for that. And we want to take advantage of it and and put a, a team uh, together that can really try to compete at the top. Yes, no doubt. Um, AJ, you know, he had that great run at the Nevada match play, and actually beat Eddie Fryett in the finals for that and I think that gave him a real boost because uh, Eddie as you know is quite a competitor and I told him after he won uh, he doesn't give you anything so you won the tournament and uh, uh, I was really proud of him and Ed, Ed came over yesterday and looked at our new team room and got, a, got a, one of his tour bags up there and so uh, but he said you know AJ has really come come a long way and, and expects a good year out of him so that was good to see his perspective on it and uh, but AJ has worked real hard physically to maintain his health, and uh, and I think he's ready to have a great senior year. Uh, I think it's important to play kind of a world uh, type of amateur schedule, uh, and Johnny certainly played that a lot of amateur terms this summer. I think the highlight was going to Britain and playing in the British amateur, and uh, making the match play over there. Uh, he's had some good tournaments. Uh, got uh, you know to the match play finals of the USAM. He had a good year for us last year. That wrist injury right at conference was. Um, you know, unfortunate because uh, I think he was the best player in the conference at that time and would have had a great shot at winning that. Uh, but injuries are something that our game produces and you have to learn how to deal with it. And he, you know, became an All-American last year, All-Conference, Freshman of the Year. I think he really made a statement and, uh, and as a player and uh, as a student. And now I expect him to, I, I think we got just at the beginning of him taking off and, and being outstanding. I, I think the real key are, are the players that played a lot for us, got to the national championship last year. Um, AJ, Johnny, and Shintaro are going to be real key, uh, you know, for looking for good scores day in and day out, um, you know, putting some big numbers up, some good low numbers up, uh, and they're all capable of doing that. So I, I think that's going to be the core, and then I think we'll be moving players in and out of that to make up the full team. It's going to be fairly young. Uh, we've got a couple you know, sophomores and juniors that have been here a couple years and, uh, and see how they, you know, get in the mix. Uh, it's going to be very competitive at home, and uh, that's exactly the way, the way we the want schedule. It. We open at probably one of the hardest golf courses these kids will ever play, Olympia Fields up in Chicago, uh, where the U.S. Open was played a few years back. Jim Furyk won it there. Uh, it's a great golf course. We played some practice rounds on it over the years. It's going to be real important for us to get off to a good start. Uh, I think this is one of the hardest fields that we'll play all year long. Um, and then from there we'll go to Albuquerque, my old hometown, and uh, play at uh, UNM South, which has hosted national championships. And you've been there, and uh, it's a great facility, and we've got a lot of great memories there. So uh, we always want to be competitive on that course. 
And, uh, and then we go out to the Jerry Pate in Alabama. Uh, the two-time national champions over the last three years came from there. So we're going to uh, play a great southeastern bunch of teams back there. Very, very tough. And then we finish up at Isleworth, an another one of the great courses in our, in our nation. Uh, and uh, it, so we'll be very tested in the fall, which is good. I think it'll give us a good indication of where we are, but more importantly, where we need to go. And these guys will, uh, will come through that, um, that test and really kind of understand where their games need to be because those are very difficult golf courses and uh, that's what the national championship is going to be like.